Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Uh, Merry Christmas and welcome to this new video on Moon River uh, or Mover. Covered this yesterday. Yesterday, unfortunately, I mean, um, well, in, in the analysis, I did say it was probably going to go up. Um, but I also, in my in my signal group, which I have, I also send out a signal. I, I, I saw the price right here when it was around like $22, $24. And I was like, you know, if, if it breaks $24 again, which I also, that's also what I said in the video yesterday, I believe. Um, I think it started rallying in the video or something. But what I said is that if that level breaks, then we'll rally, right? And the first real price target is $36. And I was wrong about that because it was a resistance level, but not strong enough, all right? We, we rallied all the way up to $43 um, or spiked up there. I mean, in the end, 36 and, and that level above that, 36, 38, has proven to be a strong resistance right now. And that's also the main resistance we have to break to rally again. Um, but no, yesterday the price target was, uh, well, Mover was just way too bullish. But unfortunately, we missed the signal, or at least we missed the entry price. So that was the, the, the unfortunate part of it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I hope most of you have made money on this. It's, uh, it's, it's very manipulated, right? So that's what you should know, first of all. Um, just be careful. And if you're a new trader, I, I wouldn't even trade this. I would just stay away from it. There's enough there's enough opportunities. I mean, there's uh, look, with Moon River, we're playing in a zero-sum market, right? So that means that if a million dollars is lost by people, a million dollars is also won by people. Moon River is clearly manipulated. And if there's one thing that's for certain, it's that manipulators will probably not lose. So that means retail loses. So uh, if you are retail and you don't know what you're doing, make sure you don't lose. All right, so don't don't trade it. But right now, I mean, the thing is, is that Moon River since then, volume has dropped down a bit. Um, the funding rate yesterday, which was still quite quite, the funding fees were quite high, so that's always great. That creates an incentive. They're still, as you can see, they're still relatively low. I should say, still relatively low. Uh, however, they've also increased a bit more, so the funding fees have 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 become have become lower if you're long at least. Um, a mover, like I said, has also had a bit of a bearish breakout. I mean, if you if you say that this is a a key level, which is true, between like thirty four thirty eight dollars, uh, we've broken down below that one fake out and one real breakout right now. So. Look, Mover is still bullish right now, technically. But we are starting to see some cracks. And you can also probably see that in the open interest. The open interest has dropped down significantly. So Moon River really needs to do something quickly here uh, to, to still make new highs, all right? Because it's, it's possible that, that Moon River gets up to $50 and after that probably $55. Those are my first two price targets. But what needs to happen technically, and I would say that needs to happen in the next day, all right, is we need to break above $38. 38, 36 maybe is even enough. If we break above 36 and then find support there, that's enough as well. But that is what needs to happen. And given the numbers that we're seeing right now, I don't think that's most likely. Volume is dropping, momentum is dropping. So why would I tell you that we're going to get a bullish breakout if everything is going against that? No, I think it's more likely that we'll actually have a bit of a drop down to 28, 26, 25 right here. And from there, find some support. And if, if from that support, maybe there's another chance that we'll gain momentum. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that. I mean, if, if, if from that support, Moon River is not able to get a bullish breakout above $30, for example, then we'll very quickly drop down even lower, down towards 22 and 20. Um, yeah, so that's what you need to know. I, I think that's all you need to know. All right, so keep an eye on that breakout. Place a price alert. If we do get that breakout, we can rally higher. But at this moment, the numbers really uh, are not telling us that story. So those are my thoughts. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my, my premium and signal group uh, to, to miss uh, trades like this. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, it's profitable. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.